Today is a special day because we're venturing out of our comfort zone for once to experience something very interesting. Something I didn't even know could exist until very recently. What are we going to do this week, you might ask? Well, we're venturing into the wonderful world of Roblox. Yeah, believe it or not, but there are plenty of Half-Life and Portal experiences you can apparently play right now on Roblox, and all for free. Today, we're looking at a very particular game on Roblox, though, and it's called Tunneler, which is basically Portal, but, well, in Roblox. And guess what? It's surprisingly good. Let's get into it. Lambda Federation. In case you don't know what Roblox is, for some reason, let me give you a brief introduction. Roblox is a platform that hosts lots of different kinds of free games that are created with its own game editor called Roblox Studio. You have everything here from first-person shooters to tycoon games and much, much more. It's mainly catered towards younger players, despite the horrendous marketplace and currency system, but I'm sure adults have something fun to find here too. You know, I actually played Roblox myself all the way back in the day around 2011 or so. I was especially addicted to those tycoon games. There was just something about the progression system in there that just kept me entertained as an 11-year-old. Roblox back then looked, well, um, a whole lot different than today, though. Unfortunately, I lost access to my old account though, so I actually had to make a new one. Oh, Sky Spawn is already taken. Dang. Well, then my username is going to be the catchy Sky Spawn 6. Yay. You know what? It'll do. All right, I verified my email address and oh, look at that. I got a free hat by doing that. Awesome. With the hats now equipped to my voluptuous body, I decided to visit my profile. Because why not pimp it while we're here, right? Hmm, what should I use as a description? Eh, something simple. I do YouTube stuff, should do the trick for now. Wait, what? Both YouTube and stuff are censored? Well, now it looks like I do something very inappropriate. <laughs> Anyway, let's get straight into the game we're playing today, which is called Tunneler. It has been mainly created by a Roblox user named Homemade Meal, and according to the game's page, it was created in 2020 and last updated late last year. The game takes place at the Ecliptic Industries testing facility, where the player has to test out a new portal device they have been creating together with their test buddy, Axel. Apparently, Aperture wasn't the only one onto the portal technology, eh? but some more sinister stuff appears to be happening behind the scenes. The game features nine test chambers, all with custom music, textures, models, and more, because they cannot really lift anything from the original Portal games, of course. I don't think Valve would allow that. And as you can see from the amount of visits here, it has gotten quite a bit of players over the years it's been available. 8.7 million is absolutely nothing to scoff at. Damn. What's also cool is that the game is VR compatible, apparently. I had no idea that Roblox could do VR nowadays, but I guess that kind of makes sense. So if you're looking for a portal-like VR experience, then this might be something for you. It could very easily get you motion sick though, so be aware of that. The game is divided up into chapters, with chapter 1 being the only chapter currently available. When chapter 2 is coming out, it's still up in the air. According to Homemade Mew on Twitter, the development is still ongoing, but they're currently working on other things. They have been working on Tunneler for about three years already, after all. Anyway, enough explaining, let's get into this game. Tunneler starts you off by waking you up in the middle of some sort of relaxation chamber, and immediately we're greeted to Axel, who is going to be accompanying us on these tests. Good morning. I'm Axel, your personal testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course, so that your experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. He is a really sweet little robot, and we got to protect him at all costs. We move through our first portal, and the game basically starts. Now, Tunneler begins pretty much like the original portal. In fact, the progression is very similar. You start off without any portal device. Eventually, you get a portal device that can only shoot the blue portal for a while, until you're finally granted the full fat portal device that can shoot both portals. 
The portal device feels nice to use, and just like in Portal 2, they place almost instantly when you aim and shoot at a wall. If you remember, in the original Portal, it could take a second or two for your portal to appear as you're seemingly shooting an actual projectile that has to reach the wall before it can be activated. None of that here. I actually do prefer that. We are quickly greeted to other testing material, like the cube for example. You can pick it up with E and place it just like you could in Portal 2. You cannot throw it though, unfortunately. Fizzlers, energy balls, buttons, and even moving portable platforms are also introduced gradually throughout the game. I think overall the introduction of these test elements are pretty well paced out and I never really had any moment where I felt overwhelmed by them. Turrets are here too, and you guessed it, they work pretty much the same way they do in the original Portal. Although I will say that not being able to throw them is a bit disappointing. I know Portal 2 did the same thing, but still. One thing you might find a bit different from the original Portal games is how the test chambers are laid out. They are actually called levels here, and each level may have two to three chambers within it that you have to clear. And between each level we got a little resting area where we can sleep or go to the restroom if we really gotta go. I think in terms of gameplay there really isn't much else to say here, it's basically Portal. They did a really great job emulating the game and even its physics, and when it comes to the difficulty of the puzzles they really aren't that hard actually. In fact I was breezing through most of the game. There was this one puzzle near the end though that kinda cracked my brain a little, but eventually I figured it out. I spend the most time here out of all chambers. Man. But yeah, if you're looking for a real challenge, then this might not really be it, unfortunately. This is also supposed to be Chapter 1 though, so I'm sure that the chambers in Chapter 2 will be a bit more challenging, whenever that comes out. Now let's talk a bit about the visuals, because my goodness, this is all taking place in Roblox? The visuals are quite good. It has dynamic lighting and shadows, everything has a nice shine to it, and I think they're even using PBR materials. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Although it might not look like a next-gen game or anything, it does look stunning for something like a Roblox game. Roblox used to look like this, guys, come on. Roblox! It's free! In terms of art direction, it does try to go for its own style, and it doesn't copy Portal too much, actually. Ecliptic Industries kind of has a dirtier, grittier look going on for its devices and environments. It kind of reminds me of a slightly sleeker Portal beta style, and I think it's pretty cool. I do find it kind of a shame, though, that the turrets don't really have any personality anymore. They are just blocks that try to shoot at you. And nothing more, really. Maybe this is just a side effect of the developers trying to stay away further from Portal and its style, but meh, I think they could have come up with something a bit more fun here. What I also notice is that your view through the portals can be a bit rough looking. The closer you get to a portal, the lower the render quality seems to become. It's kind of a strange effect, but probably some kind of trade-off to make these portals work properly in Roblox. Oh, and the portals seem to render a much lower quality version of the game world inside of itself. So it can be pretty jarring walking through a portal and seeing all the dynamic lights and effects pop back up again. Again though, I'm just impressed that this works in the first place and it doesn't really break the game or anything. After having gone through the 9 test chambers, the game ends pretty much on a cliffhanger, hyping you up for what's to come in Chapter 2. Again, there is really no news on when that comes out, but I'm sure it'll be pretty awesome when it does. So, do I recommend you give Tunneler a shot? Well, yeah, if you're hungry for more Portal stuff, then this is definitely recommended. And while you're at it, why not check out all the other Roblox, Portal, and Half-Life games? I'm sure there are other projects out there that are pretty amazing as well. And that's all I got to say for Tunneler Chapter 1. What do you think? Are you going to try Tunneler out for yourself, or do you really just not want to have anything to do with Roblox? Let me know in the comments, I'm curious what you guys think. And while y'all are down there, why not like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content? We certainly appreciate it. Now if you'd excuse me, I gotta improve my Roblox profile description because, yeah, this ain't cutting it.